Who's there? Welcome to Farming Simulator 19 on Ravenport Farm. Now today is the day of the sheep and I'm thinking somewhere in here maybe looks the best place for it. I'm going to look at buildings and I'm not going to have a huge number of sheep. Let's see, with this one, boy, that's only 80. That's 250. Of course, this is all I can afford unless I Yeah, see, I think in here See, that won't actually back out. Okay, let's do this. Go to the garage. This I want to sell. And this one I want to sell. This one I'm going to keep, this farm garage, until I uh, have, um, you know, a uh, another shop. Got to think about what I want. That's, I want to get another shop, and that's probably where I'll put the bales. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. I don't know if there's a possibility that this could interfere with the placement of the sheep enclosure. Let's see, let's take a look at this other, I don't think this other stuff over here, I don't think it'd be a problem. May, that tree may have to come out, both of those trees might, but okay, let's look at this. Chicken coop, pig, their sheep. Okay, now, well, 65 is the base cost. Oh, that is so close. It's higher if I come this way. I'm not going to get much better than that, I don't think. Okay, let's see, can he? That's not what I wanted to do. I was just wondering if the food and water... I think that's good. That's about 3000 over the base co cost, and I don't think I'm going to be do any better than that. So I'm going to put it there. Go back. 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 This is odd. How, how is it that I have more money than when I started with that? Oh, for some reason it didn't place. This is odd. What if this is another bug? Well, turn it around.
Okay, I'm going to try buying it with the keyboard. Now that took money out. Yeah, it's interesting. That won't go back with my side panel. It even tells what the uh, helper H. I wonder if the... Uh, yeah, that's what I figured. done here. I'm going to just take it down and I'm going to unload it. And then unfortunately I guess I'm going to have to run down there. But whoops. Maybe I'll work on sheet first. Okay, do this. Hopefully that will continue to unload. Operating position. And there it goes. And we'll go into the transporting position. I don't know if that'll fold everything up. Close the back. Okay, now I have got to find, I think the front loader is up in the field. I gotta get a bale fork and I gotta bring the uh, water bowser over. So I do wanna get some sheep. I think the loader is up here, isn't it? the loader. this area and I'm hoping the bale fork I'm gonna put it out here where there's not too much grass there we are hopefully that bale fork is up here If it is not, I will have no idea where to look. Oh, still don't have any idea where to look. This is a problem with being disorganized. Uh, 
I don't know where I've left stuff. I'm not too good at this, but let me see now. This map is not real good. There's the bail spike. Is that on the other side of the house? I think that's where it is. Get out of here. We'll go over to the other side of the house. Oh, 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 I bet it's on the other side of the horse paddock. That is correcto. That is correcto. Yes, I see it there now. As long as I'm going by the Bowser, I am going to hook her up. There we go. Now we'll go with the bail spike. This is logical, you know, that I left it over here when I was working on straw, but it's uh, just been so long. Okay, now what I'm going to do is there's one grass bale that's up here on the end of the field, and I think what happened, I think it was probably in the field there. It's one of those that I had made into silage and uh, then it converted to grass when I was having trouble with the game so much trouble and so that's what happened lift that up See, that crop has matured, hasn't it? Wonder if it's weedy. Weedy and needy. Practically lost that. Now, since I lost a bale, I tried to put it in before I had horses. Oh, that's so wonderful. I'm going to try to get some sheep. Maybe that won't happen. Okay, this is the feed trough. I've actually gone by it. This is probably where the wool spawns, and I'm going to say this is maybe where the sheep are. Okay, this is the kind of sheep my father had, uh, so I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to get 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's only $16,000. So, we will confirm, and we now have sheep. Okay, I will back up here and try to get them some grass. 
Anytime I've had sheep in the past, I would always get a loading wagon, but since I've already got a baler and I am have planted some grass, I think I'm going to just try, you know, baling it. Hmm. Come on, sheep, why aren't you taking it? Keep dragging this fork on the ground. Bend it if I don't, uh, if I'm not careful. Give them water. And take that off of there. Just going to leave that there for the time being. Oh my goodness, this is showing that this is silage, even though it doesn't look like it. Well, I'll have to take that over and sell it. Next time I'm going with a bale. Well, I am doing well. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's not wanting to spear because I'm going from the side. There it goes. I'm going to take it over and put it with this stray straw bale and then I'm going to go get... I think that's grass. If it isn't, I'm going to have to... I guess start mowing at some point. Mowing and bailing. Okay, it's over here on the edge of the garage, so underneath that little awning there. Well, I don't know. No, I just don't know. Hopefully this is grass. Oh my goodness, that's silage too. That is silage. Well, yippee. Well, I guess I'm just going to go up and bring this back. And then I'm going to come back for that last partial bale. I think, yeah, that'll be a partial. And then hopefully we'll be getting a bonus if we do. And when I figure out what I'm going to do with grass, I think I'll buy more sheep with that money. Okay, get out of the way. I got an emergency load of cotton that I have to deliver. And I can't be slowed down by a bunch of dilly-dallying drivers. In fact, I'm going to pull my seat up here so I can see better out the windshield. Uh-oh! How did I miss that turn? That's going to be a trick. Okay, cranker, hard right rudder. This isn't quite as long as the other one, so I don't think it's where I'm going to have trouble here. There we go. 
I wonder if that uh, spinnery is still uh, tagged. I don't want to take any more signs down. I've knocked down a, three signs. And the county's going to be real good about it, but if I keep knocking signs down all the time, they're not going to be so good, I'm sure. Okay. Do this and unload. There we are, 88%. I'm going to turn around this time. It didn't work so well. And that was close. Now we'll go back, get those bales, and deliver them. Back here. Well, isn't working so well, is it? That button on my steering wheel, I frequently hit that when I'm trying to also frequently hit utility poles when I'm going too fast and not being careful enough. Okay, I'm leaning forward in the seat. Real close to the windshield. Guess I should have been paying more attention as to what I was doing rather than leaning forward in the seat. Set the cruise control. Away we go. Going on high speed. I'm not going to try to go through there this time, even though I did a great job the last time. Of course, like I said, this is not a real long trailer. I'm going to slow down or I'll jackknife for sure. You pull that car out in front of me and it'll be going up for a salvage auction. You'll be able to look at it online. All smashed up. Be able to buy it for maybe two or three thousand dollars depending upon how old it is. It's basically going to be a parts car. So don't ever challenge me when I am hauling cotton because it's really important. Cotton is really important. If we didn't have cotton, we'd have to go nude. Think what that would be like. Especially when there's a lot of snowfall. Okay. Where's that other harvester? That's right, it's at the other end of the field. Shoot. I'm just taking a ride around the field. Just riding around the field. Oh, come on here. Gotta think about what I'm doing. I know that thinking is difficult. Run over 
here. And a ten. Okay, here we go. Transport position, and I'm going to get behind the wheel, and away we go. I want everybody to know this is my last load of cotton. This is great. I hope I'm going to get a huge bonus. Of course, maybe not, though. Let me see. I need to go here because I need to cross the railroad track. Don't challenge me unless you want to see your vehicle at a salvage auction. I got sick of all you drivers pulling out in front of me, driving slow, when I have cotton to deliver. I'm going to take it off the cruise control so I don't jackknife. Be careful. Don't hit the sign. Oh, I... oh boy. <laughs> Missed one and hit the other. Jeez. There we are. See how we do. Contract on field four is finished. Hmm. Maybe the huge bonus we got was uh, 16,471. But like I say, we got something. We're going to complete this. And what does it show here? Last lot construction cost. Sold wood, sold bales. Harvest income. Well, anyway, that's what I'm thinking. That uh, That's where that money came from. Well, I really appreciate your watching. I would also appreciate your subscribing. You can hit that subscribe button below. You also can comment and like below. I hope you have a blessed day.